this is a video talking about our nodes. I've got a lot of questions about what's this node do, what's that node do, and a lot of the more nodes that I get a lot of questions about, I want to make a video about. Maybe call it the node reference library. That way when y'all need to know what a node does, y'all can come and look up the video and you'll know I have an example of what that node does. And the first node we're going to use in our shake node reference library is from the other tab, and it's called the bots node. And under the other tab, there's a right here, bots. You can go from 18 bit to 16 bit to floating point, okay? Now, this is kind of an important node. Now, because 8 bits per channel, or 8, eight bytes per channel, is 250 ste steps between black and white, okay? That means there's 256 steps between the white and the black. Now, if you have a 16 bit channel, there's like 65,000 steps between black and white. And if you go float, there's gazillion steps. Okay? So let me give you an example of this. Let me get my text here. I want to go to my filter tab and add a blur. And I'm going to blur a whole lot. 600. Okay? Now you won't be able to tell much about it at first. It'll just go black because it's blurred so much. But now I'm going to go to my color tab and add a brightness. And I'm going to up my brightness to about 20. And now you can see what we're getting here. You see this banding? That's because we don't have enough steps, okay, between black and white. But now, if I go in here and insert a byte node between my text and blur, so let's insert a byte node, okay, and there it is. Now I can come down here and switch between 8 bits, 16 bits, or floating point. Now, let me switch to 16 bits to where there's like 65,000 steps between white and black, and let me show you the results. Go to 16 bit. And look at that. You see how that smoothed everything up? Okay? And sometimes, even 16-bit ain't enough, you might have to go to float. But in this case, 16-bit is plenty. But as you can see, in 8-bit, you can see the banding. And if you ever get any of this banding like this, this might be a good way to, to try and fix that. This might be one of your problems, okay? So that is a quick demonstration of the byte node, why you would use it, and, and a, good, a good purpose to use it for. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.